Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading, doing our longer readings from February 19th to March 20th for my Aries. Hello, my Aries. Well, you know, longer readings mean that I use four decks of cards. I use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards, gives me my main message. Then I go to my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards for kind of like fill in some gaps. I then ask advice from my Osha Zen Tarot cards, and then I finish up with my Archangel Power Tarot cards, Radley Valentine. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all decks with Reiki energy, but as always, remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay, it's a water card. It was reversed, but I didn't look at it. Okay, because I can't see it now. <laughs> We're going to do something a little bit different. Um, a subscriber asked once, uh, you know, why don't we do astrological readings for the astrological season? So that's what we're going to do. So this is going to be Aries in Pisces season. And it's going to be an interesting time for you because Pisces not only finishes up the astrological year and then Aries begins it, but it's also the sign before your sign, and that's where you need to clean up your act. Not that it's a whole lot to do, but this is where, you know, you want to make sure that you start the new year, but also your sign in a really good place. So there's going to be some really interesting energy here for you. Now, about Pisces, though, so I have some stuff over here. I'm going to go a couple of days before to the 17th of February. Mercury goes retrograde. Now... Mercury will go retrograde until March 10th. There is always a two-week, 14-day window before and a 14-day window after. They call it the shadow of the retrograde, and that's where things are slowing up and, you know, and they're stopping, and then they start to go backwards, um, you know, so in both ways. Um, but Mercury in itself, don't buy. Okay, for somebody out there, if you can hold off, if you can, Hold off purchasing any major electronics. Um, you know, I'm kind of thinking car. Um, that might be a really good idea. If you can hold off. If you can't, you need your car. Okay? You need your car. So, but if you can, hold off. Um, it's also communication. Communication. So that, that would also be with your phone. You know, so it's also, Mercury is like, you know, it makes, there's, you know, electronics kind of... So it's always a good time not to buy electronics during Mercury retrograde. However, Mercury retrograde also brings things to light. It brings things from the past, things you might have let go but haven't let go of, let go of you or you may not have let go of. So there could be people coming back into your past that you want to see and people that you don't want to see. I also look at Mercury retrograde as the universe trying to put things to right, okay? So, oh, we do have three cards out. Okay. And then, too, on the 19th, um, the seas, um, Pisces astrological season begins. It's going to be, there's going to be some soothing energy here. So, you know, so be, you know, so take advantage of that. So Mercury retrograde for you may not be as rough, though I do feel like you're going to, like I said, this is the season before your season. You got to do some cleanup here. Okay. Okay. Then we have our new moon on the 23rd, which is in Pisces. Remember, full moon to new moon from the 9th of February to the 23rd of February, right? Yes, is the, you know, is the new moon, and that's the waning moon. So that's like it gets smaller and smaller, and that means get rid of, get rid of. New moon to full moon, and the full moon will be on the 9th and that of March, and that will be in Virgo, Earth energy there grounding us. And on the 10th, like I said, Mercury goes direct, and then on March 20th, happy birthday season to you, my Aries, and the start of the new astrological year. Okay. So, I have three cards face down. Remember, I'm an intuitive channeler, and what that means is I open myself up to my higher power spirit. Whatever the message is that needs to come out, it comes on out. Three cards face down, like I said, but the first two are reversed, and that means pay attention. Here we go. First card from my Aries in Pisces season. Here we go. Knight of Water. Interesting energy for you. 
because water is Pisces, okay? Pisces, um, Scorpio, also Cancer. It's fluid, emotional. So there's going to be some real emotional energy going through for you. So you might, I don't know, old old girlfriend, boyfriend coming back in, an old job wants you to come back to work. Because remember, relationships are any of those three, right? We'll just say it early. Work, job, career, personal, interpersonal, intimate. Um, it could also be something to do with family. So it could be, you know, again, I feel like something's coming back into your life. Is it an old, um, is it an old, is it one of these old relationships? Okay. And is it kind of getting you kind of like, okay, yeah, I, I don't, I don't remember exactly why I left or why they left or, you know, so be aware that there, there may be something trying to reach out for you. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't, but it doesn't mean that you should. Okay. A couple of things again is like I said, you know, the old, you know, old relationships come back into your life so that you can really resolve them and end them. But it also could be the universe saying, no, this is your path you needed to be on. Okay, so this is, again, any of those weird relationships that we were talking about. Knights are directional. Emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, and contemplative. Falling in love or wedding proposals. The need to balance emotions. An invitation to a social event. So also, too, this could also be um, you possibly, you know, you proposing or somebody proposing to you. This could also, you know, if if this is a proposal, if you're thinking of getting married again, I'm going to go back to the car, try to do it outside of Mercury retrograde, okay, in the shadows. But but if you can't, you can't. It's okay. Um, here is your next card. but Because like I said, um, and this one's reversed too, but I, I haven't looked at it. Um, so let me take that back a little bit because it could be the universe trying to right that wrong. Okay, so maybe that relationship, you were supposed to be in it. Maybe that was something that was going to teach you lessons. I hate lessons. But, or maybe it was something that was supposed to be a blessing to you. I like blessings. Here we go. Next card up, the three of air. Okay, air energy is your thought processes, hearing news, Wi-Fi, you know, Bluetooth. It is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And this is kind you know, this is, you know, again, the thing, clearing the air out, having this old come back. This is part, part of this is you dealing with some of your old thoughts, some of your old, you know, I'm think I'm hearing thoughts and habits. Um, you know, it's not so much, you know, that your thoughts and habits that do affect your emotions. The three of air in this case, you know, they talks about, you know, like healing and a past sadness. This is a great sadness. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself or others. This isn't about a new heartache. Okay. But if somebody's coming back into your life, it could be reminding you of an old heartache that did not heal correctly. Okay. You know, you've heard of, you know, where they said, oh, this, this didn't heal correctly. So we had to, like a bone, we had to re-break it and then, you know, set it, reset it again. And I mean, it hurts. It hurts. But it's like an old wound. And there's something going on with the Uranus, too, I think. And he's the wounded here. Okay, well, you know, we're not going to get down that. But it's like an old wound that needs to re, that needs to heal, but heal correctly. Okay. So, you know, that could also be that job, that job that maybe you were laid off of or fired and you start hearing that, um, you know, that people are kind of like, oh my gosh, you know, my Aries, you, you, oh, you know, you were wrongly fired. Maybe this is also about, uh, you know, okay, wrongly fired comes up too. Again, it's not during this time per se, but it's like, you know, maybe, maybe there's some sort of a, um, you know, maybe you've taken some sort of a complaint to somebody and it's like, yes, you know, you were wrongly fired. Maybe you were going for unemployment and, you know, and they were contesting it and you're, you know, so, I mean, but again, I feel like it was wrongly done. Okay, next card, the chariot. A couple of things about the chariot. The chariot is Archangel Metatron. Metatron has walked on the earth so as a human and before being transfixed to transform, transformed, um, into an angel. That's the that's the theory and story behind him. There's a lot, you know. There's a lot of self control here. If you look at this, you know, 
in the chariot, you know, he has to really use a lot of strength to control these horses. But at the same time, and you know this, the chariot to me is a lot of fast movement. So these, so these people coming in and out of your life, these relationships coming in and out of your life, that, you know, and they're kind of playing a little havoc with your emotions. It could be very fast acting, fast, you know, like that. Yeah, fast acting, like, you know, yes, like a commercial. It could be very fast in, but it could be very fast out also. Okay, so an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. So I do like that for you, my Aries. I like that public recognition, but it goes back to what, you know, like I was saying, like, so maybe, maybe there was something that you were blamed for and you're vindicated. Okay, going back to that three of air, it's that type, but it's again, you know, it, it's like, you know, yeah. You know, it's like you had to kind of revisit it. You had to go through it a little bit in order for that healing to really begin again. Or to, to, in order for true healing to happen. Okay. Now, my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. We're going to pull out three cards here. So one, two, three for some clarification for my Aries during Pisces. Here we go. First card is partnerships and alliances. So there is, there is again, so we talk about the night of water, we talk about these relationships coming back, we talk about them wanting you, you wanting them, you know, whatever this is. So there is some, there is some partnerships coming together. There is, and again, this is more towards work relationship, and I tend to go more towards work relationship, but so maybe, you know, this, this could be that old job coming back, asking you to come back, or it could also be you going into a field that, you know, is very similar to that old job. Okay. Next card. Okay. Reversed again. Pos okay. Positive movement forward. It is, you know, even though the energies like the, you know, Mercury retrograde, um, you know, all of these people coming back in, it's trying to keep you, you know, it's trying to keep you static you still have to move forward because, you know, this is still your time to clean up that energy so you can start your new year and your new season. So this is still the universe has your back and is pushing you forward. Probably a little bit more towards or past that March 10th, okay? Or that March 9th because that Earth energy, that Virgo moon, full moon is going to be, it's going to ground a lot of that you know, think of Mercury as kind of like that lightning rod, and then the full moon comes, and it kind of grounds it. I shouldn't say lightning rod. It's like lightning, and the full moon is the lightning rod, and it grounds that energy. And I think that's going to be more for you. Your last card. Okay, that, that even though things are moving forward, even though things are, you know, partnerships, you just have to wait it out. You have to just keep, you know, just keep patient, stay patient. I don't feel a lot of highs or low emotions, um, except, you know, like that three of air, that sadness, but that was more about healing. Whatever this is about, whatever that relationship was that hurt you, that's all about healing. And now you just have to let it heal. You let you have to let the bone set, okay? And it will heal. It will heal. Eh, but, you know, wounds, wounds do leave scars, okay? So if you ever have that, you know, if you if they do have to break that bone again and you get an x-ray, they'll say, oh, you once had a break. Yes, but it, it's healing and it's and it's that much stronger. OK, so let's go on Osha Zen tarot card for any kind of words of advice for my Aries in Pisces. OK, here we go. One, two and three, three cards face down. Here we go. First card is receptivity. I love this card. I mean, this is like, this is like crown chakra. This is like being open to the universe. This is like you, you know, having wonderful downloads. But this is, since this is words of advice, it is saying to you, be open, be open to that universe, be open to your higher power, be open, because there's some information that, that wants to come to you. And if you, and if you're closed off, if you're letting you know, if you're staying too much in that, um, you know, in that great sadness, if you're staying too, you know, if you're in your, if your head is too much in the clouds because of whatever the resurgence of this relationship is, you're not going to be able to get the true message. Okay. Okay. Next card up. I love this too. This is reversed and this is ripeness. This is like when, you know, this goes along with the, 
the waiting game, the positive movement forward. This is again, wait for it all to come through. So you might have to do a lot of waiting during Pisces season. I mean, you may have to wait in Pisces season quite a bit, but then when the root, when the root, when the fruit is ripe, the fruit falls off. Okay. So in its time. So you may have to, you know, you may have to sort through a lot of stuff. Well, I said you will have to sort through a lot of stuff, but you may have to wait it out a little bit. So Pisces season may be kind of a season for you to just, I shouldn't say coast, but again, it's kind of like deal with the things you got to deal with. Yeah, again, I'm not saying if you need a car, you need a car. I'm not saying not to get that car, okay? But yeah, you know, but if you can, wait it out a little bit. Okay, your last card here, again reversed, is awareness. Awareness. So this is a really cool card for you because this is, you know, you see this person behind the veil and it's very tormented. So it, this is kind of like you coming into your own, you getting ready for your airy season. This is you, it's like you assimilating what your lessons are. You, again, coming into your own. Um, and not, this This isn't real big drama. There's not a lot of drama here. I mean, there is that three of air that's about healing, okay? That's about the bones re-knitting themselves, if you want to say that. But this is about you becoming aware of who you are, a lot of your strengths, a lot of your weaknesses too, okay? Okay, so let's go on and... Let's go Archangel Power Tarot card. So yeah, it's not there's not high drama here. There's not low drama here either. And it's just you, you know, cleaning your house, getting yourself ready because once you're, you know, cuz Aries is right around the corner here. Okay? So here we go. But I do like that Knight of Water. That I mean that that Knight of Water it kind of makes me smile. There's a, there's that little romance that, you know, there is that little romance that comes into it. So it could be that you, you know, you love your job, you love your direction. You know, there's a lot of things that you can love with that. Three cards, face down. All of them are reversed. So strong for you, my Aries. Here we go. The King of Ariel. Okay, so this, and this is kind of, I'm feeling like this is towards, this is closer to your season in itself. But the king of Ariel, Ariel is earth energy. Earth energy is Taurus, it's Virgo, it's Capricorn energy. And it's all about, you know, it's solid energy. Could be something or someone that you can touch, you know, so it could be family, it could be your house. A lot of times it's about money and with money comes your job or an income opportunity. So this is very, but this I love him because he's very self-satisfied. This king is very self-satisfied. He knows, he's got, yeah, he's got what he wants. He has what he wants. So, the king of Ariel is successful, stable, accomplished, accomplished, and powerful. Your plans are working out well. Remember, you know, partnerships and alliance, moving forward, ripeness, all of these things, receptivity, are working very well. Professional and financial success, using resources wisely. And it's probably going to be, as we go from that March March, maybe March 9th through, you know, through the 20th as we get to your season. Here we go. Next card up. Peace. Okay. Again, like I said, there's no real high drama here. Um, it's just you getting through and cleaning up. And I like that. I like there's no high drama for you. Okay. Peace is Archangel Azrael. Release the past. And which is this time again, Pisces season. Mercury retrograde, let it go. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. And your last card again reversed is the five of Ariel. Things are changing for you. Things are changing. Ariel again, earth energy, solid energy. Um, fives are about change. So, you know, just know, you know, you're getting, you know, you're, you're getting your land, you're getting your land um, prepared. You're getting your, your, you know, you're getting your land prepared because there's going to be some big changes coming. I feel like it's going to be coming more in your, in your, I don't know why I'm saying Aquarius. Oh, I think that there's a planetary movement. Um, I think Mercury goes into Aquarius on the 10th. So that could be why Aquarius is coming to me. So there could be some movement. There could be some changes. Positive, negative, you know, neutral. I'm, you know, they're all can be stressful. 
I don't really feel that this is going to be negative. I feel that it's going to be more, it's just going to be kind of like, oh my gosh, this now, you know, I'm kind of having a nice month. I'm kind of, you know, I'm dealing with the people coming back in my life. I'm dealing with all this stuff. And now it's time, you know, now we're now in that solid energy, things are going to be changing. So you needn't go through your current chain, your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. And I'm always saying that. Keep your thoughts and your words positive. You need to put that out there, okay? You know, negative thoughts, negative words comes right back at you, especially during Mercury retrograde. So really, it, it's a peaceful, calm type of energy for you, my Aries. But there's, it's not without its challenges, okay? So you'll deal with them because you can. Now, my Aries, if you enjoy my readings, Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. But as always, my Aries, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.